Get off me. <coughs> he is real he is really smelly right now. and welcome to Caddy Wampus Acres. I'm Jason and I want to take a few minutes today just to tell you a little bit about why we raise goats and uh, the type of goats that we raise. So come along with me and let's get into it. If you're new to our channel please like the video, comment down below if you got any questions or any comments and please hit the subscribe button and the bell down below so you can keep up to date with everything we're doing here on the farm. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. So this here is my boy Miyagi, and Miyagi is a Nigerian dwarf, full-bred Nigerian dwarf. That is Ali. He is not a he is not a goat. He just wants my attention. Um, yeah, Miy Mr. Miyagi is a Nigerian dwarf, full-bred, um, and he is a buck, which means that he is intact. To keep it family-friendly, I'm not going to really go into what intact means, but it means that uh, he is able to breed with our girls. So uh, don't be confused by the uses of Billy and Nanny. He's actually called a buck and isn't he a beautiful boy? And there's certain things about a buck that you may not want to have on your farm. So as you can see, Miyagi, <laughs> Mr. Miyagi is actually pretty friendly and that's not the reason, that's not the reason you may not want to have a buck on your farm. Um, bucks, uh, in order to attract the females, they like to pee on themselves, and um, so that's why his beard sort of got that yellow tinge, and in the goat world, that's really cool, and they also have some scent glands up top that um, <laughs> sort of cause them to smell pretty bad. So if you're beginning with goats, I would stay away from a buck and stick with either Weathers or a doe. Like, this Margie here is my first doe I ever got. She is a full Nigerian dwarf and um, she has been bred a few times and she is a good milk producer um, for us here on the farm. This is one of our baby goats. Uh, this one is Eleanor and we've got Phyllis down here. You probably can't see Phyllis, but you can see how sweet these little girls are. Um, they're about, she's about six, seven months old. They are twins um, and it is pretty common pretty common for Nigerian dwarf goats to have twins or more when they give birth. It's very, it's actually uncommon for them to have a, um, a single birth when they give birth. And we try to breed them every once a year. I'll tell you in a second why we like to breed them and what the whole point of breeding them is. Because as cute as this little girl may be, um, just the cuteness factor is not the reason we raise goats. Let me show you Jolene. If you've seen any of our videos, you've already met Jolene, and she is the mean one of the bunch. So now that I've said Nigerian Dwarf a few times, um, just to explain real briefly, Nigerian Dwarf is a breed of goat. The Nigerian Dwarf breed is a miniature breed of uh, dairy goat, and they are typically only about two feet at the withers, which this is the withers right here and they like to be rubbed and they like to be petted. The Nigerian dwarfs produce a really good amount of milk, but um, it's, they don't require as much to feed. They don't require as much hay and barely any grain. And so in the cost effectiveness in the big scheme of things, it's actually um, pretty cost effective to raise Nigerian dwarfs, um, opposed to raising a full size, because you, get, you, get, you will get more milk with a full size goat, um, but not as high quality of milk and um, it does require a lot more to feed them. The reason we raise Nigerian dwarf goats um, is for our purposes is for dairy um, and they produce a very high butter fat content um, milk and we use that for our soaps and um, we have made lotion before it's pretty nice lotion it's um, the soaps and lotions are very good people with people with skin conditions like eczema and things like that. Um, and we are able to sell that stuff online and to friends and family. Goat's milk is awesome uh, on the skin if it's put in like a skin supplement, but it's also um, it's very tasty. It's almost like a sweeter tasting milk. And don't be confused by the 
what you may have had from a store before because that's going to be like a commercially available and pasteurized and stuff. Goat's milk is naturally homogenized and so even after a couple days you maybe just have like a little tiny bit of cream on top but it's great milk. We use it for many things, ice cream, lots of good things to eat and the goat cheese is amazing. We make a lot of chev here which is a French uh, fresh it's a fresh goat cheese and it's a soft like crumbly cheese that we like to make here and it's delicious on eggs or anything like that and so the main reason for us having these creatures here is for the purposes of their goat's milk and um, they're very easy to manage and they are also um, very easy to feed and care for. Goats are naturally pretty healthy animals and they only eat vegetation so opposed to what you may have seen on TV or movies Goats do not eat tin cans and stuff. They will try and lick or chew on a lot of things that they're not supposed to have, but that is about the hardest thing to do to care for them. As long as you keep their pastures clean and free of nonsense stuff that they may want to chew on, um, then it's not an issue. She's looking for food. Um, so ultimately, I think a goat is a great animal, especially a miniature goat like a uh, Nigerian dwarf, not to be confused with a pygmy, which is a miniature meat goat. Um, but Nigerian dwarfs are a great homestead animal or any kind of animal that you are trying to get going and be more self-sufficient with. So I would always recommend having a goat and I'm actually going to show you um, some weathers is which I got started with. Now, Jolene here is a doe which means that she is a female and um, we've bred her a couple times and she's produced some pretty great offspring. So um, let me show you some weathers. This here is my buddy, Mr. Bojangles. Um, Bojangles is a weather, and so is his brother over there, Buford. Um, Pedro is a buck, so he's still intact, and he's pretty smelly and ornery, as you can tell. Pedro's pretty ornery and smelly, so I'm not gonna fool with him, and then we got a donkey running around here, but um, this is Buford, he's also weather, and this is what I would always suggest getting, getting started with, if you just get, <laughs> Goats love the butt heads. If you're just getting started in goats, I would highly recommend um, getting a couple weathers. And weathers are males that are no longer intact with their male parts. Um, weathers are very calm, and um, they are they are basically for companionship. If it's an, if a goat is an animal, you're looking at getting into for just for a pet or something to just have around or maybe to munch on some brush um, that would be these would be your animals to go to goats will actually eat grass um, it is not their preferred go-to food um, what goats love is brush goats like to eat with their heads up um, sheep are grazer cows are grazers horses but goats are actually um, they are actually a browser type animal and not to be confused with an internet browser don't be confused way different um, but they are um, they will eat kudzu down here in the south in Georgia they will eat um, any kind of underbrush you have poison ivy poison oak get wolf me <coughs> he is really ugh, he is really smelly right now um, goats will <coughs> goats will eat uh, any of your brush or briars that you have that are causing you problems or something like that um, and they will clean out any of that area you just got to give them some time so I would suggest if you just want you're like I want to get started with goats get yourself some Nigerian um, or pygmy weathers um, they're this is as big as they're gonna get these are the biggest ones I have and um, they will not bother you, don't have to worry about them breeding, you can put them with a female, nothing's gonna happen, and um, they won't cause you too much trouble, and the best thing is, they don't stink like this dude here. Hey, he's giving me the funny lip. Um, the bucks smell really bad, and so um, I would suggest if you are planning on having does or females and breeding them to get milk, uh, unless you're really planning on going big with it, I would always suggest studying out your females, your does, in order so you don't have to have it. If you want a bigger operation, you can have a buck on site, or what we like to call a herd sire, is the commonly referred to term for the male that breeds uh, your females. So, 
that's goats in a nutshell. Okay guys, I gotta go. My hand smells horrible from Pedro over here and uh, I gotta, it, I almost died just that he smells so bad. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go wash my hands. So we will see you guys later. This is actually some of our goat's milk soap that uh, Warren made. Smells really good. Um, but I need to wash off Pedro's nasty smell off my hand. And so I'm telling you, if you've never tried goat's milk soap, um, you can always contact us and we, get, we can uh, get you some. But I gotta wash up.